we do them no good uh, by not encouraging work because ultimately the only way you get out of welfare is by getting into the workforce. While serving in the state assembly, the pension turmoil in Milwaukee County drew Scott Walker out of Madison. In 2002, he won a special election for county exec. Two years later, he was reelected to serve four more years. It was not long into that term that he set his sights higher, launching his first bid for governor, but bowing out. The next time around, he became the favorite GOP candidate for the top office in the state. No matter where you live, no matter what your background, no matter who you voted for, we all live in Wisconsin together, and we're going to move this state forward together. Voters sent Governor Walker to Madison for the first time in 2010. He ran on a platform similar to the one today, moving Wisconsin forward. He defeated Democrat and Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett. Weeks after Walker was sworn into office, he revealed a controversial budget repair plan that divided the state. It eliminated many collective bargaining rights for most public employees. The protests were fierce and spawned a recall election. Again, Walker faced Barrett. Again, he won, becoming the first governor in U.S. history to survive a recall election. Tonight, we tell Wisconsin. We tell our country and we tell people all across the globe that voters really do want leaders who stand up and make the tough decisions. From the recall to a re-election campaign, facing his third race for the job in just four years. And let's move on to four more great years. Walker would win again, his sights again on a higher office. His upcoming announcement in the familiar territory of his recall win. Back at the Waukesha County Expo Center, this time promising to move the nation forward.